part of the rationale for putting the graveyard here was um, that there was a railway line right beside it. And so what happened, uh, particularly in the 19th century and in the early part of the 20th century, you used to have whole train loads of, of funeral parties coming here for, for burials. And there used to be um, people who'd hire themselves out as mourners in that time, which is really typical for um, you know, Victorian um, Britain and its colonies to have people charging and making money by being crowd, rent a crowd basically for, for, um, for their funerals. Um, these ghost gum are, are, are interesting to me because underneath nine of them, and I'm not sure which ones, um, I understand there were nine murderers buried and they were buried upside down in unmarked graves and they put the ghost gum on them. Yeah. This bear patch that's surrounded by graves in, in, in the late 19th century, early 20th century um, section of the, of the graveyard, uh, there are 1128 people buried here um, that were buried here uh, as victims of the, the Spanish flu epidemic, the last sort of major flu epidemic that we had in, in this country. The, with the station being just down there, bodies were piled off the train and carried in on carts and then buried and, and bits of the grave were dug up in sections by sections. Yeah. Behind me is the Corbyn's family mausoleum and behind that is a whole bunch, a row of Corbyn family graves. Um, they're a really significant family in, in, in Auckland, at least in West Auckland. They helped to uh, start up along with a whole lot of uh, Dalmatian families, the, the, the wine industry in New Zealand. To me it's the most beautiful of all the graves in the cemetery, um, you know, for its kind of cultural kind of imagery and, and, and resonances. You've got Arabic writing in there, you've got the grapes, you know, you've, yeah, there's a sense of status about it. The other thing that, that, that is interesting for me about the cemetery um, is the kind of, besides the kind of uh, cultural um, layout and the way it reflects the rest of the city is, is the way the ecosystem is, is still kind of infused and still a really big part of this graveyard. Like with Auckland City, you know, it's a, it's a place that, that's surrounded by islands, by water, by trees, by bush. You know, there's a family of Pukekoe that I can see right now just hobbling around um, doing their bit.